I got Domino's. So let me show you what all I got. I am so excited. These are all items I have never tried from Domino's, but they look really good. So first thing are these tots, bacon ridge cheese tater tots. They look really good. They got a dessert. We got their lava cakes. Damn, three of them too is, that's a lot. That's a lot, Jelly Bean. Yet again, we have another very uncomfortable video that we're gonna all watch together because if I have to watch it, you have to watch it too. I don't like watching mukbangers. It's very uncomfortable for me to watch people make mouth noises for three to five minutes and then see them body slamming literally five, six, seven thousand calories while looking at you dead in the eye while making noises. I am very uncomfortable. I, I, I get no appeasement from this. If it was my kink, I would be disappointed in myself, but luckily it is not my kink. So if I am watching it, you're watching it too. Feel bad with me, okay? Let's watch it together. <laughs> oh, they smell like brownies. They smell really good. I wonder why they smell like brownies. Could it be that they're probably made with the brownie mixture? I don't know. I mean, it's, this is literally what that is. And then, of course... By the way, this is just for her. Uh, I just want to point that out. There's This is just for her mouth. This is just to satisfy her entire mouth. <sighs> Feel bad yet? I had to get a pizza. You had to get a pizza. And Damn, bro. She's starting to look really uncomfortable in the body, bro. I mean, I was looking at some of her videos from like six months ago when she first started to do these trendy things. And she was looking pretty, you know, normal. She had a nice physique. And when even when she was eating, I didn't see that extra on the side. I didn't see that like, you know, the extra voluptuousness on the back of the tricep. I wasn't seeing that. I wasn't seeing the big backness. But now every video, subsequently, has just become worse and worse. She's just gaining more and more and more and more weight to the point where I think in like a year from now, dude, she's really going to be on that fat acceptance wave, start telling people that she deserves special treatment and that she's beautiful exactly the way she is while she's body slamming Domino's pizza. This is one of their types that I've never tried before. It is their New York style. She looks pretty sloppy, but then again, it's from Domino's. I mean, if you're ever getting the Minos, it's never going to be like the best. It's default pizza. I've never seen anybody complain about the Minos before. There was one time though, I think like 10 years ago, I got a meat lovers from the Minos and it was really sloppy, dude. It kind of looked like the dudes was just tossing meat at that shit. Kind of like if they had a, the pizza was on like a, you know, those, those boards you throw, you throw the things at, you know what I'm talking about? A dart board and they were just tossing meat at my pizza. It looked like that. It was really sloppy. Jeez, New York style with Which is, you know, fine if you like the sloppiness, dude. If you like that, if you like that sloppiness, then it's, it's probably okay. Pepperoni and cheese on top. Looks really good. God damn, bro. Jesus, man. This is just one meal for the day, too, bro. Peep the garlic sauces. We haven't even seen the drink yet. I got two garlic sauces damn. and two ranch sauces. Got a Fanta orange. Can't have a drink the water, I, of course, man. have to do my iconic slurp. <laughs> So let me open. That's crazy as hell. Those words should never be like the only time you ever hear those words be said, the iconic slurp, is when you're watching a video that's disrespectful to you. And if your mom watched you watch it, then she would probably be disappointed in you as well. But we're gonna watch Jelly Bean. Damn, her wrists are starting to get real big. You know, when you could see somebody's like, you could see the difference between the hand and the wrist for me, right? But for her, you can't. They just became one thing. And that's the middle ground of obesity. When your wrist and your hand become one, and then the next final evolution of that is when your wrists start to get so massive that it looks like you're perpetually wearing a North Face jacket. It, that's when you reach the pinnacle of no return. You gotta, you gotta really get your shit together at this point because it's gonna be very, very hard to do it later on once your wrist becomes so massive that nobody can like, people are gonna look at you and go, wow, why are you wearing a jacket in the sun? Oh, that's your skin. Open up this fan I hear. By the way, she said that this makes her feel like dizzy and that she gets lightheaded and she starts to cry when she chugs it this fast, which in my opinion is like whatever. I mean, she's she's already admitted that she was doing this for sexual pleasuring of other men. So, I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. Like, whatever. Do your own thing. Okay, bro. We get it. All right. Let's open up our ranch and garlic here. Ooh, ooh look at that. Sloppy, man. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy pizza, man. But you know what, dude? It's just for her, and this is for her mouth, and literally look at the likes. This video got like 5 million views. All right. I'm not going for the ranch. Why can't you just eat the pizza regularly? Hey, that's just crunchy. That's good. Damn, the chewing is... 
it's like almost non-existent, dude. There's so much non-chewing when she does these videos. It's always so concerning when somebody eats as fast as she does because that just tells me now you've reached a pinnacle of consumption that you're not even eating it anymore for the flavor of the food. You're just eating it just to eat it because the chewing process does require a lot of taste buds activation. But at the point that she's at right now, it's, there's no longer any need for that. It's just for the food. Oh, it's how thin the crust is. Mm. The sounds are really disturbing me, dude. Like domestic violence to my ears. Mm. Try some garlic as well. Why can't you just have the pizza by itself, man? I'm sick of people dipping everything in food. Like, I, why can't you just eat the food as is, dude? I'm sick of people having french fries and drowning them in ketchup at that point. You're just eating ketchup. The fries don't even have a flavor at that point. I'm sick of people doing that shit. And I'm also sick of people dipping everything else, ranch and garlic sauce. What's wrong with just regular pizza? You're not even tasting the pizza at that point. It's just bread and sauce. Oh my gosh, it's almost better with the garlic, I yeah, think. Yeah, well. I hope she's taking care of the rest of herself, man. God damn. Ooh. What's the point of using a fork if you're about to use your fingers instead? The entire purpose of utensils is to have a barrier between the food and you. But instead, she's just going, let me just go ahead and go, ah, ah, mmm, mmm, that, mm, wow, that sauce is real good, guys. You know why she's doing this, dude. Come on now, don't, don't play with me. You know why she's doing this. You know why. Those allegations are true. She fessed to it. It's I. Right. We all did some things that we shouldn't be doing, you know what I'm talking about? We've all beaten off to that one thing that afterwards you looked at and you're like, what the fuck did I do? What, what is wrong with me, dude? What kind of human being am I? I'm a, I'm a disgusting animal. I got to take care of myself better. I got people in my life that are relying on me. I just beat off to this shit? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Where you beat off to a woman that just farted on a cake for 45 minutes? Now, what am I doing, bro? And it had a storyline? I don't even know how you have a storyline like that. Like, the woman goes to the supermarket... And you go, damn, it's going to be really great celebrating my boyfriend's birthday with this beautiful cake. And then they break up and it's like, I'm going to, I'm going to do something. I'm going to be really upsetting to my boyfriend. I'm going to, uh, I don't know. What am I going to do? Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to fart on this cake and I'm going to record it and I'm going to send it to my boyfriend to show him how much I hate him after he broke up with me. He cheated on me. I'll fart on this cake and I'm going to eat it after too because I hate my boyfriend so much. That was the plot. That was the plot. Eventually, you start watching porn just for the plot, you know? Like, you ever you ever start watching porn with the idea of beating off, but then halfway through, you're like, this is actually not too bad, isn't it? Like, I mean, I, I gotta see where it goes. You know, I gotta see where this leads to at the bare minimum now. I, I, I'm invested. I gotta see what, you know, what does the boyfriend look like? What does he think about this whole thing? That's Dude, the chew, good. there's almost no chewing involved. It's literally munch, munch, gone. Let's see if it'll spill oh. out. Damn, bro. Them things is a lot bigger than Ooh, I thought. Oh, it kind of does. See here. Looks really good. They're supposed to look good. That's the entire purpose. I've never had a lava cake before. Why does it matter if you... I've never had them either. You don't see me running down to the store and trying to buy three of them. I don't, I don't care if you've never had them before, dude. That doesn't make any sense. I've never had penis before either. You don't see me going on the street, get on my knees, perpetually sucking dudes off. Just because you haven't had it before doesn't mean you have to go and get it. I'm a pescatarian, so I've never eaten chicken, but eating stuff with me. I really think about this situation right now, dude. Like, you have a strict diet where you can't eat chicken, and you're like, you know what, dude? Even though I've been practicing this particular diet, and it's like, it's against my moral framework to eat chicken... I'm going to instead break my moral framework just so I can appease other people on the internet that want to see me eat big denominations of calories. I mean, really, you're kind of selling a piece of yourself uh, when you make videos like this, dude. I mean, me personally, I love chicken, right, dude? I'll have that shit marinating my lips to the day I die. But that's not the same for somebody like this. Like, if you had a particular diet where you're only going to eat this particular thing, and then you go, you know what, people want to see me do this. I know a lot of people got their meats out while they watch this video. I know a lot of dudes are waxing. And you know what? I want to appease these dudes. I want a real deal, make sure that shit is moisturized with the sweet, sweet greasiness of this chicken, metaphorically speaking, of course. But 
Let's watch somebody destroy their own morals. Let's watch somebody sell a part of their soul just to get that sweet, sweet TikTok views. Those sweet, sweet revenue. Oh, it's so good. Oh, we really selling ourselves on this one. So I got quite a bit because I ordered it through Uber Eats. By the way, uh, to have your breaking breaking your morals on Wingstop out of everything. I, I've never had Wingstop in, in like a very, it's been a very long time since I had, I don't know if it's very good, but to think like you didn't go to a soul food place. You didn't go to like your black friends that know how to make really good soul food, that know how to make good chicken and things like that. I know not all black people make chicken good and things like that, but the point I'm making is you went to Wingstop. You didn't go to a homemade place. You didn't go to a, a soul food place. You went to Wingstop, dude. Damn can't do shit right can you imagine literally being a vegan and then going i'm gonna break my fast on mcdonald's all right so i got 20 dollars off my first order so it was really inexpensive to get the things i wanted today so let me open this up all right so this is the first box this looks like the cheese fries which i actually got for my sister i don't know how, to what degree that's true but even if it is true it almost doesn't even matter because our girly definitely is going to eat everything and anything so i mean if she doesn't eat this it's whatever she's she's beautiful regardless right so we'll give those to her um make into i want you to peep the physique as well dude like this shirt would have been filled out look at the time of this video okay uh, 2023, this is 2023, mid 2023. This is about maybe a year ago and some change a little bit, a year and a month. So look at the size comparison to compare, compare where she is like now it's, it's, it's jaw dropping to see that before and after other boxes. These are the voodoo fries, which I ordered for myself. Of course, of course. And then these are the wings. So I got five garlic Parmesan Damn. and then five original hot. Wow. Those two look hot. <laughs> and then of course I got two. Wingstop branches, which are actually bigger than I thought they would be, as well as a Dr. Pepper. Non diet, of course. I'm gonna try the wings first, so let's We're see. gonna try the wings, so this is the first time you've eaten chicken in presumably a really long time, and you're gonna coat it with ranch first? Whatever, dude. I don't care, man. Whatever, dude. This one, She obviously doesn't care, so it's like, whatever. I don't know why I'm trying to put so much value on this. It's literally useless at this point. I don't care. Go ahead, body slam your drenched your drenched chicken that you apparently have not eaten in a long time or maybe your entire life and douse it please douse it in that sweet white sauce get into this Ooh, the famous ranch okay i'll try the garlic parmesan first while wow, they're still hot okay beautiful this is like uh this is like a straight man this is like a straight man applying for gay porn because it makes five times more money like you're selling a piece of yourself, man. At some point, you just, you give too much of yourself away. And then you're no longer the person that you once were. And you're doing it for what? Money? I guess there are better, there are worse things to sell yourself for, I guess. Mm, that's good. Damn, dude. Mm-mm-mm. And then we have the original hot. Wow. I wonder okay. what I wonder what's going through her mind, knowing that she's like slowly but surely like losing parts of herself every time she makes a video like this. When she eats those like you know those chicken wings that hit in her tongue, dude. Haven't been eating chicken in years, and here we are recording it for TikTok for millions of people to wax themselves to. Dip this. Dip dip. Okay. Oh, they're unusual. That was unusually crunchy. Where's the microphone? That's good too. Where's the microphone in your mouth? Why, where, where, I don't even see the microphone right now, dude. It has to be like inside her mouth next to her like teeth. I think I like the um, garlic with Parmesan a little better, but that's okay. Mmm. It's just, it's, it's just nasty. It's just gross. I spilled the ranch. <laughs> All right, let's get into these voodoo fries. All She's right. She's lacking a severe amount of that top lip, dude. I don't know, man. That's tough. That's real tough because in, in modern today, like, you need big, voluptuous, uh, thick lips in order for people to approve of you. And being a person with severe, diminished lips, I mean, I'm literally boned. I got boneless lips. I'm actually, they're so light. And people make fun of me a lot. They go, David, where's your lip? And I go, you think you're funny. You think you're funny that I don't have lips. Uh, it's not my fault. I'm sorry that, like, I have ancestry from the Caucasus Mountains or whatever, dude. Eastern Europe or something like that. I'm sorry, dude. What am I supposed to do about that? I can't do anything. 
about my my severe blight of lip capacity. It's not my fault. So when you make fun of me and you go, Dave, you don't have lips, you're body shaming me, okay? You're body shaming me, and it doesn't feel good, all right? I, I, what am I supposed to do about my lack of lips? I can't do anything about that, okay? So when you just know you're a bad person, if you ever look at my lips and go, David, you don't have lips. Aha, aha, you don't got lips, David. I'm, I'm, you, that, how, does that make you feel good? Because it makes me feel not good. Let me get a few on here. Oh, no. All right. In the ranch, too? Ranch. Damn, bro. Can we just eat the, the fries with the stuff? You already got it coated with cheese. Is that not enough? Where is the microphone? I'm going to need to... Where is the microphone exactly, bro? Is this the residue from what you ate before as well? Why is it so wet right here? Mm. Oh. That's good. Oh. And then, of course, let me get into my Dr. Pepper here. That straw not thick enough, dude. You're going to need a thicker straw than that. Before the iconic slurp. She didn't, she, I guess she didn't perfect the slurp yet. She's got some tropical calf smoothie. I got their buffalo chicken wrap. It's got their grilled chicken, lettuce, tomatoes, buffalo. And I'm more, I'm more interested in the, I'm more interested in the videos where she talks. I don't really... I, I really do not like the mukbang videos where she just has them pulled up and she's like tapping her fingers against the burritos and, you know, <laughs> slurping up like a giant big gulp of, of, of whatever soda she got that day and she eats 15 bites of the same thing before you even see a... <laughs> you don't see one of those. I don't like it. I don't like the mouth noises. I'll never enjoy the drippiness on the face. I don't even like seeing the drippiness on the hands because I'm so uncomfortable seeing people with food on their hands. Please, you have a barrier. It's called bread. Have that barrier be intact throughout the entire meal. I don't know why so many people are so comfortable having grease residue on their fingers while they eat food. It's uncomfortable for me to even see, let alone have on my hands. Ranch. And then their tropical punch smoothie. It's very yellow. But it like hits you with that pineapple. It's really good. Thick as I hell. You get, like pineapple and kind of like banana. Nobody cares. That's not the purpose mm. of this. Nobody's watching this to know what it, what it tastes like. That's not the purpose. Let's take a bite here. Yep. Let's here we go. Oh, yeah. That's what I've been waiting for. It was good. Damn, that was a fast ass bite dude what she ate that shit and it was gone in like a second just a little spike. evaporated in her throat dude i mean that makes sense if you're a skilled person if you're if you're doing asmr eating it's not about how many chews it's about the swallow it's about that you know that's what it's truly about to see you body slamming food nobody cares about the chew nobody cares about the mouth action it's all about the food in the mouth seeing the mouth and then that's all we care about that's it it's good but it's just a little spicy. <laughs> mm. This is my first time getting tropical. Dude, the way she just like immediately puts it in her mouth and is able to talk right away after taking a big ass bite like that is actually uncanny. By the way, seeing the before and after pictures of this girl is uh, life changing shit. Like the amount, like people have linked me the pictures of her like six, seven, eight months ago, and maybe you're seeing them on your screen right now, but like the before and after of like that red, the picture where her wearing the red shirt is actually insane. The fact that she literally is out here wearing that same red shirt and it's filled out in that drastic way in the gut area is crazy, dude. I don't think she realizes how much damage she's doing to her body, but if it's worth it for her and she's able to make as much money as she is, and rest assured, she is making a lot of money. This girl is doing like two, three, four, five videos a day and sometimes, and each one of these videos is getting five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten million in some cases. I mean, look at the like, look at the likes on this video, dude. One hundred and seventy-six thousand likes on this video is actually crazy. That's an insane amount of likes. People genuinely like seeing this content, and I'm not surprised. There are a lot of people out there that are like really, really freaky, and they're willing to watch women or uh, potentially even men watch uh, watch them eat tons and tons of calories like this. Cow smoothie or whatever it's called. So if you guys have any requests for like good things to order, let me know. <clears throat> I like that smoothie. It's just like no chewing. It's crazy to think that in literally two weeks, I will be in Taiwan. 
I'm so excited for like the vlogs and stuff. I'm using my phone right now, but I bet you know, like it, it's really sad to say this, dude. But she's getting rewarded for this particular type of activity. This is like literally her job at this point. She's getting tons and tons of money from this. I don't know exactly how much TikTok is paying her for this. I don't know if she's doing something on the side. I don't know why you wouldn't, to be honest. I mean, we already confirmed that she's doing this basically for feederism. A lot of people that are watching her videos are literally doing that because it makes her a lot of money. And they're watching her because, uh, you know, they, they like watching women eat. And it makes a lot of money, apparently. So there's that. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all that stuff. I'd appreciate it tremendously. If you watched the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in flashlight because you light up my world like nobody else. Uh, and I care about you a lot. Ooh. Um, you're a beautiful person. You're an amazing person. I care for you deeply. I think that it's amazing that you chose to watch this video today. One up for Jelly Bean Sweets. I hope she does better, but this is at the rate that she's going. This is what she's going to be doing for the rest of her life. It's sad, but it is what it is. Anyway, guys, social medias will be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day. 